today, I'm actually reintroducing China to Cheech and Chong. China, oh my goodness, you're so big. <sighs> oh my gosh. Guys, I think they're friends. So the reason why, okay. China what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. Guys, I live here in South Florida with some crazy animals. So if you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button to see some of my crazy animal adventures here on my preserve. Guys, if you saw the title and thumbnail, you will know that today I'm actually reintroducing China to Cheech and Chong. If you guys saw this video right here, you will know that we actually introduced the two of them a couple of months ago and it didn't go as planned. They actually did not want anything to do with each other. Cheech and Chong did not like China, but I wasn't surprised because she's a young cat. They don't know her smell. In the future, both China is going to live with Cheech and Chong. China is going to be Cheech and Chong's girlfriend. So we have to do everything in our power to make sure that they like each other and they're going to be friends. Now that's gonna be a process because China is a stranger to Cheech and Chong and Cheech and Chong is a stranger, are strangers to China. So we've gotta slowly introduce them and acclimate them. That's what we're gonna be doing for today's video. So if that sounds like something you guys wanna see, well, you guys are in the right place. But before I actually go and introduce China to Cheech and Chong again, well, I've been actually working on Cheech, Chong, and China's new enclosure. It's outside, it's absolutely massive. So we're gonna go check that out before we introduce them. So this is Cheech and Chong's brand new habitat that we've been constructing since about last week. So we got Gabe on the inside working on the house. We got Miles here helping out as well. And these guys are gonna be the new residents in here. You got Miles, Gabe, how do you like the new, uh, the new enclosure? I'm moving in. You're moving in? Yeah, I like it. I love it awesome, actually. Awesome, awesome. So we got the enclosure here. So let's go inside and show you guys because Cheech and Chong, you guys know their story. They were surrendered to me, but I'm so excited to give them the proper home that they deserve, which is this giant habitat, which is incredible for them. There's gonna be tons of enrichment in there for them. We're making actually a little house for them. So guys, let's go in and check it out. So we're about to go in and we have our double door entry here, our lockout. So let's kind of just walk on through. Um, we're gonna be adding grass and all kinds of stuff. There's gonna be a platform here, but we already have this massive platform up here, which is eight foot by eight foot. And this is Cheech and Chong's new little house up here. So we got Miles and Gabe on duty here, helping out, working. Do you think the kids are gonna like this house? Gabe, do you think the cats are gonna like this house? Absolutely. Miles, what do you think, bro? I think they're gonna love it. I think they're gonna love it. So you guys can see right here. So the house is about four by four and we wanted to give it this cool log cabin look. So we put this on the outside of it. And Miles, wait, let's get this. Let's see what we're doing here. Miles on in nice bro looking good we're going in over here bro we just putting the nails in the hole we're putting the screws on in let's do this let's go let's oh, go whoa, one whoa, whoa. two okay so we're using these flat deck boards for the roof guys this is gonna be amazing here you want to screw one in all right i mean yeah let's do it all right so i'm gonna screw one of the screws in for you guys to see right here let's go on right here so basically we're getting the boards on in and we're using stainless steel deck screws. You guys are always asking me to show the tutorials of how we do this, so now you're getting it, guys. We got one screw. Do we have another? Oh wait, we got a whole bunch here. We got a whole bunch right here, and let's get this one in. There you have it, guys. That's how you do it. You guys see the enclosure. You see the incredible house that Cheech and Chong are gonna be getting now. We're gonna be putting a tiki roof over this whole section right here. So this is gonna be completely covered from the elements. So the cats will be able to cool off in this enclosure. But guys, what I need you to do right now is I need you all to comment down below, are Cheech and Chong going to like their new habitat? I think they're gonna absolutely love it, but again, I want you guys to let me know what you think down below. I honestly think they're gonna love it. I would live there if it was big enough for me. You would? Yeah, I think yeah, we should I mean, build one for me on top. I think we should, because look at this. this. This is gonna be plenty of space for these cats. We're gonna be doing, again, another little platform here, but honestly, this is just so cool. It just came out even better than I could have imagined. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so we're inside now and we're about to enter China's indoor nursery room. So let's head on in. Let's see where China is. China, oh my goodness, you're so big. So China always greets me right at the door. She's a very sweet, affectionate servo cat. And I believe 
honestly, I got her, I think she's like 15 weeks now. I'll have to look at her birth date. But China is doing well inside of her room. She's a healthy cat. Come say hi to your father. Come say hi. Hello, hello, hello. You guys haven't seen China for a little bit, but she has gotten absolutely massive since the last time you guys saw her. She's growing up to be a happy, healthy kid. She's now eating raw chicken and all kinds of good stuff. Isn't that right? Yeah. But you know what, guys? Guys, I smell something gross in here. I think she may have pooped. And if she pooped, that means we're gonna have to clean her litter box. Just so you guys know, Servals will use a litter box just like a regular house cat. Now, I know you guys see this cat and may think you want one for yourself, but guys, these are not pets. I will never recommend these as pets. They're exotic cats that require specialized care. So again, not pets. If you're thinking about getting one, please don't. I don't support it, but oh no. I smell it and I see it. Oh my gosh, China. China, look at this. You pooped and peed. Okay, so first thing is first right now. China pooped and peed in her litter box. So before we can even think of taking China out to Cheech and Chong, we've got to clean this out because it smells. I've got my scooper. I've got my trash can. So let's go scoop this poop. All right, we're headed on in. So we're going to come get this poop. Like I was saying, guys, the number one priority here with all the animals is their care and their well-being. So that means making sure they're fed, making sure they have clean water, and especially making sure that we clean their poop and pee. So as you guys can see, we've got some nasty poop right here and we've got some litter. So we're just gonna kind of scoop this away and we wanna get all of the wet litter out just like this. So we're gonna take the wet litter just like this and we're just gonna put it in. So it's really cool that the serval cats and a couple of the other medium-sized cats will use litter box because it makes cleaning up poop and pee just that much easier. So let's get a nice scoop right here. Now, as you guys can see, we got the poop, but again, let's... Oh my gosh. What? Hannah, why did I do that? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know why you would do that. I don't know. Uh, would you look at that? A nice, clean litter box. It doesn't smell, so the litter box is clean. So now that it's clean, it's time to take China back to Cheech and Chong and see if they'll finally be friends. All right, we're coming outside. We've got little baby China and we have Cheech here. So guys, it's so crazy to think that these big serval boys right here used to be small and tiny, just like China. Oh no, that's not a good sign. Chong is already hissing at her, but this is the necessary steps we have to take to make sure that these guys are gonna be friends because if we don't introduce them slowly right now, well, they may never be friends with each other. So that's why we've gotta bring her out here and let them smell her scent. Okay, well, looks like Chong is not gonna be friends with her, but guys, comment down below if Cheech is gonna be friends with China. Cheeto! Cheech, say hi to your girl. Oh my gosh, guys, this is not what I wanted, but this is the reality of it. Hi, smell China smell each other guys I think they're friends I think they're gonna accept each other look at that guys that was a good introduction they sniffed each other they're learning each other's sense and this is vital to ensure that these guys are gonna be friends long term hey you want to smell her look at that guys this is incredible China is becoming friends with Cheech this is a great sign at least one of the boys is accepting of their new girlfriend China China what do you think about your new boyfriend Guys, I think that these two, they might be a pair together. Look at, uh, look, look at that, guys. They're playing with each other, playing with the paws. Look at that. So the reason why, okay, China, what are you doing? So this is a great supervised way to ensure that the cats are going to be friends. But it looks like Cheech isn't too accepting now. Hey, Cheech, well, please don't be that way, my boy. Cheeto, why are you being that way? So guys... We had a mixed result here. Chong definitely didn't like China. Cheech, it was 50-50 with Cheech, but guys, but it looks like China liked both of them. So guys, that's gonna end today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, reintroducing China to Cheech and Chong. It's gonna be a while before we can really leave them together. China's gotta be a bit bigger and they have to be accepting of each other. And that's a lesson we can all learn in our lives every single day is to be accepting of one another. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of today's video. So if you guys are not subscribed yet, you wanna see more of these crazy serval kids. You wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Guys, all you gotta do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.